guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is going to be a project hem plan introduction. For those of you that have been with my channel for a while, you would have known that I started a Out the Door in 24 project plan at the start of the year. And I've pretty much finished majority of those 24 products already. Obviously we're only at the start of October. So I'm thinking of starting just a rolling project hem plan. Um, and the couple of items that I hadn't finished from that particular project I've just rolled into this one to get those finished up and then yeah as I use products up I will roll some more in so let's get started with what I've rolled in for the first 10 products I have actually put not one not two but three lipsticks into this introduction um, the reason being this first one is a bit of a give me I don't have much of it left it's dodgy girl from Mac um, this was part of the Kelly Osbourne collection and if I roll it up you'll see I literally have a very small amount however this is particularly pigmented this lipstick and a little goes a very very long way there's a splotch of it it's super bright super matte and yes I have this on today I have it mixed with a couple of other products um, in fact I pretty much have everything that I'm going to be working on in this project on my face today so you can see what it looks like but that one is dodgy girl and it is a matte finish and it's very very matte um, then to lighten it up a bit because obviously that is quite a bright colour and just to sort of soften it a little bit I've been mixing it with Max Calm Heat which again is in a matte finish and it was from a limited edition collection and it's a bit broken but this is how much I have left of this one and what I've been doing is literally mixing both of these on a brush and using it as blush as well as on my lips um, so I'll give you a swatch of this one as well it's quite a pale nude on my skin tone and then the third and final lipstick I have in so far is again from MAC you can probably tell I'm trying to use up my MAC products um, but it's called Only You and it was from the Ellie Golding collection which again is years old but this is how much I have left of this one and it's a really nice like warm pink which I don't normally go for but it's actually, it actually does look really nice and it's in a cream sheen finish so it's like really juicy on the lips and that is what only you looks like there so I feel like they give me like quite a few nice options to choose from because the last thing I want to do is get bored of what lip product I'm using because that's like the most fun bit of putting on makeup for base products I have three here um, the first one is my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish, I think it's called, all the lettering has worn off, but this is like a glowy sort of primary base. It's not really like full enough coverage to be a foundation, but I guess if you have like impeccable skin you could wear it as foundation, but it does have a bit, bit of a colour to it. And so what I do is just mix this half and half with... A foundation and it just adds a really nice glow so this one's in the shade 4 medium and what I'm going to be mixing in for the next few months well until it's finished up is my revolution conceal and define foundation in the shade f1 so this is very very light like it's basically the lightest shade they have apart from white I think so um, I thought the combination just for like the winter months could be really nice colour wise and finish wise so there's my base products and then the last base product is my Fenty Pro Filter Fel Fel <laughs> the last base product I have is my Fenty Pro Filter powder foundation easy for me to say and this is how much I have left so not a lot but this one is particularly pigmented. I think you get quite a lot of grammage. Does it say? You get 9.1 grams. 
and I just use this to set my foundation basically and it's very brightening under the eyes because of the shade I have which is 105 so I don't think that will be any trouble at all to use up so moving on to eye products I have two eyeliners the first one was in my out the door in 24 and I have nearly finished it but I thought I'd just whack it in this project to get it used up this is the melt eyeliner in the shade Baked, yeah, baked. Again, have this on today in my waterline, and I will swatch it. Very light, warm brown, which is nice. I thought I would use this one to begin with until it, um, I use it up because I'm working on half baked, which is the shimmery eyeshadow on my eyelids, and this goes really nicely with that. And then once I've finished half baked in my pan that palette. I'll only have like reddish bronzy tones left so I thought once I finish that eyeliner I can roll in this one which is Urban Decay's Torch and this is what this one looks like so it's much darker and redder. This one makes my blue eyes pop like mad. I wore this on my wedding day. And then I have an eyebrow gel. This is just the NYX Thick It's Lick It. I want to use this up because um, I need a either a pomade or a pencil in my eyebrows really this doesn't give me quite enough colour um, but I don't need more than one brow product on the go like I'm not that bothered so I'll just use this up first before I purchase anything and then the last product I have again was in my out the door in 24 um, and it's tiny teeny tiny my Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner which you guys know I wear with basically everything Oop, you dropped it and this is how much I have left. Again, I don't think this will be any trouble to use up in the next couple of months, but lip liners always tend to last a really long time for me. So yeah, those are the 10 initial products in this project. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to um, keep posted with how this project is going, um, then do subscribe to my channel. What I tend to do is at the next update I'll put a little screen grab of where I was last time so you can see how much I've used up. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're all doing really well. So leave me a comment down below and I will hopefully see you in my next video.